Hello everybody, this is Game Dev Masters and this game is early access on Steam and it's only been out for a couple of days but we're going to now dive into it and have a look at how it actually plays and everything. I've played for about an hour so i got the basic grips of it, well sort of, ish, I think. Nah, my unsuccessful run was really bad. I don't think I got one positive review on one of my games, uh, which is a good start. Anyway, the game shows very promise. You've got leaderboards, you've got options. I have found an issue with it though. I have found an issue, which some of you might know me. It's not a surprise. If I go in options, press cancel, it changes the window size to back to desktop. Uh, so, uh, that one I'll probably end up giving a chit chat to the developer about or post him, see if he acknowledges it later. But anyway, so let's dive into it, a new game. Uh, as you can see, I started. It's just I had a quick get. I had a quick go. So we're going to do an empty slot. We're going to call our company uh, after my two dogs. It's kind of easy, really. Uh, and at least then we get to see how spacing and special characters, player name. I'm just going to call it Russell. Uh, uh, logo. Right. Yeah, they'll do. Mail. Date of birth. 10th October I was born in 81 so I'm really old yep I am 40 this year Christ uh, favorite genre my favorite genre has to be simulation type games that is definitely the my favorite genre managers perk I'll probably go with uh, trend visualizer well connected coding veteran go on then world seed uh, no we want reality based because it's based on normal and welcome to the weird animation <laughs> now I wish it didn't start off with dance because it kind of looks really stupid and weird so excuse me I'm going to put it on idle uh, there's different models so let's go model one hair type I had a ponytail in my other one. Uh, can you spin around? No. So we go that one. Next. Let's make him smart. We're going to pick his head. Just change it to black. Uh, yeah, that'll do. His shoes, though. Christ, don't, they don't match. Give him some. There you go. Just do that. This is a lot easier. And click next. Uh, there we go. So continue. Right, so the game is now loaded. Right, the tutorial now says, welcome to your first modern office. Before you get started making amazing games, I would like to give you a brief overview of the main aspects of development. There are two types of commands, studio commands and worker commands. In order for you to begin a studio project, such as developing a game, your workers must not be busy with their own work. Now, what I found was when you first start out, you, you're basically on your own. Just like in many of the um, tycoon type games that... Um, you know, touches a lot of bases on the game development is that you start out on your own, you build up some money, and then you get, you know, basically a bigger office, more people. You basically then just become lead. Uh, more continue on with the tutorial. The to the issue, sorry, to issue studio commands, use the toolbar at the bottom of your screen. These commands will allow you to do a studio project such as making games, engines, marketing, and more. This is also where you can review your company and company data as well as a few other AI com companies and game options. To issue a worker command, you need to click on the worker of your choosing and you'll be shown a pop-up menu with the options for that worker. These options include such things as researching, training, equipping skills, reviewing workers' stats and more. So basically, the way I, I, I get the impression is it's very detailed orientated. Uh, a lot of numbers, stats, you know, so it's mic very micromanaging. Some worker options will change depending on what your studio is currently doing. Some skills can only be used during the development, special projects, or when you're not doing studio work. For example, you'll not be able to research or do a game report while your studio is creating a new game or engine. Makes sense. This first office has a low monthly cost, so take your time experimenting, learn the keys to success, which I did try, but failed, 
when you have learned the basis basics and made some money you'll move on to the second office the second office has additional workers uh, grants access to medium games and more complex but yield more money and fans now my biggest downfall for whenever I play games like this I expand too quickly which this I kind of like we can't expand too quickly without struggling does that make sense it's like um, majority of the games I play I either go I either expand too fast and then run out of money then it's game over but this one you can just take your time by the looks of things and just basically you, you could probably I'm just ballparking here you could probably spend the best part of what the whole game just sitting in this office without even upgrading your office at all you never know you can use this room control panel found on the back wall to change the atmosphere of your room. Click on the control panel to change the blinds, lights, colours and music to suit your t style. I've turned the music off for the simple fact is I don't want to be copyrighted or anything like that. Um, I think that's especially in today's, you, you know, with so many deep, you know, what's it called? Uh, anyway, copyright music stuff. Anyway, look at the options, help menu, detailed information regarding the aspects of the game. You can also turn these off for pop-ups menu and they'll show one time as you encounter new areas of the game. Right, that back panel is basically, I've already set it to 50-50%. Unless, no, unless it's already like that. Anyway, I don't know. But you can actually change your room colour. So we're going to keep white. Choose the wall being grey. I want my logo orange and my desk grey. So you can preview changes and done. So we press accept. Right, so basically grey, you can see on the you know, the edge, you've got your logo. I'm assuming that's not really our logo, but hey ho. And then the window, your PC, uh, beginner tasks. Right, research any topic, research any genre, perform any training program, perform a deep dive on any topic complete contract work and then you get a completion bonus so nice little start up for what you want to do um, right if the the now it looks like it's raining outside no it's actually snowing outside but what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the audio of the sound effects because I find it a bit um, too high there is a post on uh, Steam regarding settings for that but I find that if you just put it to 20% you can still hear it in the background and you it's, you can still hear majority of the clickable stuff that's going on anyway we're going to go into because uh, the money's not that much so I'm going to go what I normally do is I'm going to go into contract work now what contract work is in this game is contract work is a bonus feature that can be used to earn some extra money on the side for your company which is always handy every tycoon game uh, especially with game development uh, and game dev tycoon stuff like that always has contracts contracts is basically a stable money source if you don't get a stable money source in this game you'll probably nine times out of ten fail because you're just basically pumping out money and at the start you, your skills are not that brilliant so you can't do like the AAA big budget games where you just get millions upon millions um, so you start off with very limited skills very limited equipment uh, so you're not going to make that much money back but doing contracts gives you that little buffer so if you do say two or three contracts get that done you also get training you know you also get research points you will also get experience and then most importantly you'll actually get some money so each contract work can only be taken once uh, and they have their own desired amount of bubbles needed to complete yeah the usual uh, yep new contracts generate is six months so we're gonna go for a five week contract so basically our uh, contract payout is gonna be 14 grand and the completion bonus is gonna be five grand so if we take the job and as you can see the desk this this is the part I really like about this game uh, I, if when he's working his desktop uh, actually comes up and shows you that he's working uh, one little gripe I'll probably have I'd say in especially this view where the design is I'd probably move the writing uh, maybe up the top a bit have a little bar uh, and then move these up so it's all in one box not hovering outside the box 
whether this is a resolution issue I don't know I'm in 1440p um, so we don't really know uh, so anyway the contracts finished you completed the contract in time earning you 14 grand plus a bonus of five grand for a grand total of 19 grand nice and we're gonna take another one let's take uh, take that job doesn't matter which job we're just gonna take it because the more money we manage to get a little buffer in the actual better in the long term is gonna be for everyone because wow it's pretty cold outside um, it's not cold in real life it's boiling in real life I had to turn the fan off just so I can record so it doesn't pick up uh, but anyway, while we're waiting for this to complete, there are... Oh, we've just been charged income change and monthly cost. So that, my guess is, that's our rent. So you see, so when you're not... So the bigger the project of the game, so you're making a game, whether you make a profit or not, um, my last playthrough, I couldn't make a profit. So every game basically flopped, which I'm hoping that, you know, we're going to try and sort that out. So you complete the contract in time, earning you 17 grand and plus 10. And we're now going to probably create a game. There are a few things you should know before you begin. The first thing you need to be aware of is that creating a game in a genre you've not researched will result in a poorly made game. Excuse me a second. I had to have a quick drink. Researching the genre will allow you to see the, the work weights necessary for the game to, to be made correctly. So my guess is so we need to research the categories before we look into it so if we go into if you click the person research so we go research yep yep a lot of reading so we want to genre research accent oh, okay so we can't quite do it yet because it costs 25 research points research points up in the corner we only have six uh, there's engine features it's very in-depth this game I really do like it so basically whether we make a game and then just get the research points because we're bound to pick up some knowledge somewhere so if we call our first game I don't know uh, first step let's call it first step right uh, we're gonna pick a topic well we've only got three 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 um, we're gonna have a dinosaur we're gonna have it dinosaur battle royale. <laughs> That's gonna be really weird, isn't it? Uh, let's see. We've got puzzle racing, rhythm, RPG, real world strategy, simulation. Because I like simulation. So okay. Uh, target audience. We're gonna have for everyone. We're gonna pick a platform: desktop PC, PC Master Race. Uh, get the license and we've got the default engine game size is small and we're gonna make our game there we go so we called it first step it's a dinosaur simulation game um, so let's see how that actually comes out you've encountered your first stage menu this is where critical design choices will need to be made by me so you me you know the developer provided you have the genre researched you'll uh, you'll have everything you need to see on the screen to make the right decisions each game is optimal balance of tech design that you must try to uh, target development towards you do this by assigning how much work will be done in each section of each stage the chance to create a tech or design bubble is different for each section and is displayed below each slider the amount of tech or design gained per bubble is determined by your worker as well as your engine power levels wow there's a lot of reading uh, which isn't really good for me because I'm dyslexic so you know I'm really sorry if it sounds really bad me trying to read this uh, if after three stages of development your balance is off you can make you can make use of the game delay to try and correct it the additional factors so wow, maybe that's why I went wrong in the first time because yeah, the fact is my balance was off maybe uh, so basically what we got here is current balance is 100% design 0% tech optimal balance is 40% design right and 60% tech hmm 
so that's design. So you want more tech focused. So it all starts off, say, here, seventy percent. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so maybe if we increased the tech, decreased the, the design. So you want forty. You want so increase it, decrease it, yeah. And that's design. So we're gonna put that down a bit. Put that down. I'm assuming this is how it works. So it's very high engine. So it's tech focused. So we begin stage. Let's see how that works out. But one thing I do like about this game so far, I am liking, you know, you can do all sorts with it. Um, there's one thing you, that is, uh, where is it? Not leaderboards. Financials, no. Uh, there's conventions in the game and stuff like that. So, so far now we've got a current balance of 27 design and 73% tech. So, design's dropped quite a lot. Uh, so, we need to have design focused. Let's have dialogues very high priority design. So now we need to put it say down there. Fifty percent design, ninety percent design, and we want tech focused. So we're gonna have some smart dinosaurs. Well, you never know. You never know. You know, most likely I would have botched it up anyway. So, which is always nothing unusual for me. I always just randomly select different things. Uh, there's not much to look at in the way of uh, this view um, because you're still developing. You see, you know, you just, just it's the basic start of the game. If you put it, you know, in some respects, it is just the basic start. So so far now we're down to 48% design and 52% tech. Optimal balance is 40% and 60. Right. So, how are we going to do this? Optimal balance. So, if we reduce the design, reduce it down. No, no, we need to. So, there's two. Ah, right. So, it's 80% design. So, it was here. So, we just need to drop it by, say, one bar. I'm just assuming that's one bar. Tech is now increased. So there's two levels of tech. So if we go tech there, tech there, juice that down, say there. I'll see how that comes out. Like I said, not promising if we're going to get a good game. I haven't got a clue. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the way the game, I, I get the impression the way the game works is because we've not researched uh, certain genres, we're not, you know, and our equipment is very poor and we're just starting out. So basically our person's very rubbish in some respects um, that the game then tries forcing us to go into training, do more research and stuff. And as you can see it up in the, in the corner up here, our research points are now starting to, you know, accumulate. All right, let's finish development. So we got a new bonus topic, a uh, new genre. We've acquired a few levels. So current balance was 42% design and tech 58%. Optimal balance was 40% design and 60% tech. That's not half bad, considering that we were just trying to figure out where the, uh, the bars are. So we got engine tech level three, Required tech level three, so we manage that. Uh, so we put it as uh, five dollars. So uh, and I guess we could release the game. I don't think we could probably delay the launch, but the way I'm looking at it is, it's a two percent. It's a two percent error. So it's a two percent margin. We could, you know, the way I think about it, optimal. I, I'm I'm thinking maybe that's what round about eight for rating. Do you know what I mean not tens? We don't know. So let's launch the game. So the first review came in, gives us a four. Uh, what, what is this game? A five. 
This game is uh, food equivalent to two food. <laughs> yeah, it's technically food. Uh, five under the hood. Uh, all the God's creations are beautiful in their own way. I keep telling myself that as I play through the game or I would easily forget. I had a 5.2. Now, I'll be honest with you. This is the highest rating I've ever had. <laughs> because I didn't really sit down and look at the bars. I just went and up and down different bars. You know, uh, I think we've all done it in different development games that we just put one focus to one. So, like, you know. Anyway, so we continue. So this is our first game. We've learnt a few things. We've learnt uh, to save game for our engine, a level design, level editor, AI better AI, uh, graphics 2D sprites, and sound basic sound. Okay, so we made our first game. Now our first game within the first week sold 600. Second one, so we've had so we so we're getting some fans now. It's not amazing, but we are getting some fans. It's out and we have made our minds up about the release of Max and Toby's. Everybody is saying the game had problems with its well designed time, its total tech plus design levels and its dialogue design time. Now, how did we, you know, we were two percent error margin. So you know, five isn't really that bad. It's sort of it's like Marmite, it's meh. You know, you either hate it or you love it there's no in between you can't turn around and go yeah it's all right it's you hate marmite or you love marmite simple as and i think that's what our game is it's a, it's a game where you either love it or you hate it simple which is great in my eyes means quite a lot anyway so we're now going to look into some of the options down here so we got leaderboards you can see the leaderboards uh milestones uh, there's milestone menu so basically this is our tier one milestone list uh, we've got to work through that uh what's this like acquisitions this feature is locked into acquired majority stake in additional company uh archived games we've got none at the moment i don't think here we go first step so we can create a sequel straight off the bat um i'm assuming we can create a remake or a dlc you know later on down the line if it's successful, why not create a sequel? Maybe we create a sequel that uh, someone loves and doesn't love. Hey, you never know. Uh, real estate, so obviously for our offices, you know, so we need like 500,000 just to go to a medium office. We're like nowhere near that. Uh, company programs, this might have actually helped us during the um, design phase. Maybe we look into that. Uh, game engines, you can build your own engine. Um, so we can upgrade. No, we can't do any upgrades. We can create our own engine. We can manage our own engine. Uh, but I feel that we don't have a lot to go into that engine. There's kind of no point because it's still early get early doors. So it, it's in my eyes, it's more like the more stuff you can cram in your engine, the better. Because you're unlocking stuff as you're going along. Anyway, we have a mail here. It says, congratulations. On releasing your first game first step not the greatest first release with a score of 5.2 i hope that great things are yet to come i'm looking forward to seeing more results hey 5.2 is neither yes or no in my eyes it's smack bang in the middle you either hate it or you love it that that's what we created anyway that's gonna do for now for my little review um the way i see it this game has so much potential that there's a lot of micromanagement stuff in it it does look really nice I think that the nice touch is that you can change the lighting, the blinds, everything like that. So through this control panel, I think that's a nice little touch. I like how the desktop comes on when he's actually working. And you can actually research and train and you get extra hardware, which I kind of like. But it costs a fortune. If I want to upgrade my PC, it's going to cost me a 500000 for a Pentium 5. 500,000 for a Pentium 5. Wow. That's a lot of money. That's 1.8. Not 1.8 for two, you know. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's just saying it's a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button if you did. Uh, much be, be much appreciated because it helps with the stupid YouTube algorithm anyway. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.